Hey friends, it's Ocean. Welcome back to the channel. Raise your hand if you like Life is Strange. I feel like I am a part of a group of simmers who love, love, love Life is Strange as well as The Sims 4. And sometimes we like to integrate that aesthetic or style in our game. There was a period of time where I even had the Life is Strange font in my game. When I found the save file that we will be reviewing today, I knew I had to show you all. We are going to be checking out the Silent Pines save file. I'd like to give Silent Pines a special shout out for creating this save file. Silent Pines is a base game only save file inspired by Life is Strange with three major worlds, a whole new set of townies, and a complete mystery to solve. The inspiration for this save file clearly explains why I love it so much. It is inspired by the Winbrook save file, also known as Folkling now, and the gorgeous Port Sim save file by Floral, and the amazing builds by Moonwood Mills. These are all creators that I think are amazing realistic builders, and they really know how to capture a scene. I was blown away by the screenshots which you have to take a look at everything looks amazing and i'm still blown away at the fact that it is all base game but yet it feels so personalized and detailed there is a cc free version of the save file and a cc version the cc and the save file is because there is a mystery to solve cleo emerson age 16 has gone missing and so you'll see these signs around the save file but it's not required you can just play it and just enjoy it and honestly i can't wait to show you this right now my Sim Rinley and her dog Atlas are enjoying the Silent Pines Park. I really love this park. It completely takes me out of Willow Creek. It makes me feel like I'm genuinely in Silent Pines. We have an ample enough space for kids to play. It's actually really well lit also. Beautiful little lake to go fishing. And here's what I really love is this makeshift food stall. So you can order drinks or food from here. It looks like it's an actual food stall, but it isn't. How creative is that to add counters on the outside there and put the bar here? I think that was very creative. And this is the world of Silent Pines. We are no longer Willow Creek. The creator actually named the save file. Silent Pines is a quiet, cozy town, perfect for settling down. Just don't look too closely behind the curtains or you may find that things are not as they seem. So just going back really quick, we do have Oasis Springs labeled as Eclipse, New Crest as Twilight Bay. These worlds are not complete yet, so the creator will most likely update that whenever they get a chance. But what I love about save files like these is that it keeps you in one world. However, there are enough things that will keep you occupied here. There is a lounge, which operates as a church and wedding venue. There are two bars, which is the Twin Ridge Motel and the Cafe and Bookstore. There is another lounge called Pines Diner and Cinema. We also have the nightclub, dive bar, and country club a library and of course a gym known as the pines gym and post office we'll take a look at these at the end and there is actually another bar here i'm mistaken it for a restaurant but it's base game I'll get into the lore of this save file in a minute, but I did want to show you all what you can expect if you just simply want to play here. So my sim is currently living in this beautiful home where the Crick Cabano would be. And you start off the save in spring, which I think is different. A lot of people start in summer. So I kind of like that beginning, that renewal. This lot is actually going to cost you 19,410 simoleons. I actually didn't have enough. My sim only had like 18,000, I think. It's a beautiful starter home. It's under 20K and it has two stories which i think is awesome i haven't even furnished it and i love a move-in ready home because that's more realistic for me we have a lot of pine trees over here you see the use of tool mod which is what i want everyone to definitely focus on tool is a mod that allows you to place things where you normally couldn't place them and so it's nice to see what was chosen to be placed where so we do have a little jungle gym here some chairs a grill right next to us coming over here we even have a little play area for the kids so this would even be a great place to raise the kids at, to be honest, because there's so much for them to do. We have more trees, which when I think of silent pines, I think of, you know, those pine trees. Honestly, I think of foresty, you know, kind of look. I love this. Silent Pines has given these homes in this area character without using any other packs. And I think that is beat and amazing i think that is so creative to be able to do that i want to shift gears to this diner now i know you're seeing these cars and you're probably thinking how was this base game but i have a custom mod override for these cars and i'll link a video down below if you want to check those mod overrides out this is supposed to be the diner and it just doesn't feel base game it feels like it's more than that so inside we have like this really funky 
<laughs> bright colored diner we can have us some french fries here and i really like this you know because a lot of people are very limited the sims 4 is a free game so imagine if you install this save file and you're able to experience it in this level more things for the kids to play with you can bring them out here to play i didn't see any missing posters on this particular diner but we will see them on other community lots in this save file but here we have what is known to be a park but to me if you have all the packs it's almost like a rec center almost there's so much to do look at this does this look base game to you and then these chairs i keep forgetting that the base game has added new new things new objects things that actually look really cute down here we have some sort of stage area <laughs> Look at this. I'm telling you, it really feels more than just base game. I'm gonna keep saying that. I love the kids area here. It really feels like you could have some kids and toddlers too. There's graffiti on the walls here. There's another jungle gym out here to play. I love how there is nothing untouched. Every space, every corner has an object of some sort in it. It has something somewhere. Let's jump into the lore of the save file now. So I will start over here with the Emerson mystery. So this is the household that is missing their daughter, Cleo. Cleo Emerson Emerson went missing a while ago and nobody knows where she went. Nobody in Silent Pines will say it, but it's a bit suspicious how easily she disappeared, isn't it? Why aren't her parents looking for her? Penelope is wrapped up being a business tycoon and Gulliver is too busy having not so secret affairs. Gerald misses Chloe almost as much as Amanda Harris does. Maybe if someone investigated the Emerson's home, the truth could be revealed. So we're going to visit them, but I do want you to get acquainted with the Harris family. So the Harris family, this is Amanda. Amanda hasn't been the same since her best friend Cleo disappeared. She hardly eats, sleeps, or paints anymore. To make things worse, her dad can't land a job despite his three college degrees and started getting involved with some sketchy people to help pay the increasing bills. Her mom's exhausted all the time from taking care of the new baby, a baby that looks nothing like Amanda's dad. So there is some other shady things going on in Silent Pines besides the fact that Cleo is missing. There are other families here with their own stories that you should probably check out. We have the roommate's household and they actually have their own separate drama here. If you go to manage households, you'll also find some families that aren't in the world but have something to do with Cleo's disappearance. The Feldman household, everyone keeps telling Caden that Cleo's gone for good, ran off with the forest kid. He, he might have seen someone that looks a bit like her, but he's sure it was just a trick of the light. In totally unrelated news, Caden also might have done something bad, something completely unlike himself. And now Sheriff Pangborn won't leave him alone, telling him if he saw anything that could help with Chloe he should report it and land in jail not a chance so what does this kid Caden know and this is the Pangborn family home of Silent Pines Sheriff Pangborn and his three teens so he's like a single dad right now Gavin Pangborn used to date Forrest Lyman before Forrest ran away from town with that Emerson girl so this person Forrest and Cleo Emerson ran away apparently it wasn't easy being different in a small town like Pines but people were all right for the most part sure he and Forrest got roughed up sometimes but not enough to make a guy run away way right and here's the Lyman household who is not in the world Daryl has realized he didn't know much about his son before he ran away he didn't know Forrest was friends with Cleo Emerson but they disappeared around the same time didn't know some kids were giving him a tough time too people in Silent Pines look at Daryl weird for going about his day as usual but what's he supposed to do go chasing around the country for Forrest look the way Daryl sees it maybe this was all for the best maybe now the kid can be happy here is the Emerson home a nice late 90s early 2000s good old-fashioned suburban home Mr. Emerson Emerson is here with his wife Penelope and little brother Gerald who is outside playing on the jungle gym here. Now the first thing I wanted to do was come into the somology and check out their genealogy. And it's true that they did indeed lose their daughter Cleo and it says that she was deceased by fire. So I'm wondering how did she pass away? Everyone thinks she's missing but she is actually dead. Something fishy is definitely going on here with that but I also noticed that Cleo's brother Gerald is actually her half brother. So I um, yeah, I guess he actually has a different mother, but I wonder, I wonder what happened to Cleo. And one thing I really love is that in their home, there are definitely some secrets. And again, I am not going to go over all of them with you. I want you to check them out, of course, but this is Cleo's bedroom. So Cleo definitely had her own little bedroom here. She has a little journal and she also has photos of her best friend here. And she also has this birthday mark on the side of her face which i noticed that Caden also has a mark on his face as well in the other household i didn't know if that was coincidental or not we're not going to go any further than this but yeah she lives in the basement and i think it's 
great to solve the mystery of her disappearance. Upstairs, we do have another bedroom as well. I don't know if this was her childhood bedroom. I have no idea whose bedroom this is. And there is a painting easel up here as well. So I just, I, I need to know what's going on here. The Sims do have likes and dislikes, which is cool. So I guess you can find out a little bit about what they like and everything. Uh, let's just skip past this. But here is the parents' room. We have a little bit of realism. It's decorated nicely, a little messy. I decided to jump into game with Amanda because she was Chloe's, not Chloe, gosh, I have Life is Strange in my mind, Cleo's <laughs> best friend. Well, the first thing I noticed is that she has a terrible relationship with Kaden. So I'm not sure if Kaden knows something and just won't say anything because he doesn't want to get in trouble, but we definitely feel like something's wrong. He also, again, like I said, has the same mark that Cleo also had on her face as well. So I just really wonder what happened there. But right here we are at a public pool, which I think is super awesome. I think it's always nice that people can make really good base game community lots. Look at this <laughs> nice big pool. And again, everything is decorated so nicely and so full. Even if we go over here into this area, we can see that there are some items that have been added um, with tool, like this dollhouse. I do not remember being there. I wanted to show you how these missing posters are everywhere. So it says, have you seen this girl? Please report to Silent Pine Sheriff. Her signs are in and out of buildings and it makes you wonder, where did she go? This is kind of like a convenience store kind of vibe. It's actually a library because it's kind of set up like a little cafe. I believe the Compton household lives here. They look like they've recently moved in also because they have some boxes in there. And then we also have this freestanding home that you can move in to move in ready. I almost forgot to show you that there's also a missing poster. Oops, a missing poster here also at the pool. I want to start checking out some of the lots also just because I may just want to live here with my Sims. And I love this really big spacious three bedroom home. I think I want to move a family in here and just play them out and add them to the drama of Cleo missing. <laughs> I could not get into Amanda's household. I don't know if it's me or if it's the family, but I'm definitely going to pass that along to the creator, but I wanted to see her room. So I am assuming, oh my gosh, and look at her room. It's so cool. Okay, well, first I'm just checking out the downstairs. I swear you can still make this game look lived in. Isn't that amazing? But let's go to Amanda's bedroom. So she also has a journal. It seems like her and her best friend were very similar. Oh, here's the bear. There's another one. I wonder if they exchanged that. This wall art is super amazing. It is still base game. I'm not 100% sure how people get this in their games and it's still base game because I've seen it on the gallery also. They were very close. Wow, I'm so sad that her friend has passed away. They both were into art. We even have some postcards, some letters, and she even has a missing poster for her best friend. Can you imagine? <gasps> Cleo is right here on her bed oh my goodness i bet she just misses her best friend so much this is intense we even have letters here a bunch of postcards i wonder where we've been like where are they <laughs> forest and cleo have gone missing but we only see missing posters of cleo which is kind of strange i think i'm most impressed with this lot there is this really nice traditional church but it's a really good wedding venue first of all you have a whole area for seating and eating this part is the cutest to me how they use the base game bows on the back of the chairs like this the wedding altar right here a little table the dance floor everything that you need to have a good wedding and have as many guests as possible like look at this <laughs> it's so nice and granted it's very traditional but i just think there's something so charming about it this is a very nice wedding venue base game or not this is a really really nice red wedding venue and look there's a graveyard here is another home that you can move into. I believe it's, yep, 29,913 simoleons and they're empty. I love empty homes. I know some people may want these furnished, but I think it's great when you're first starting out. I love that over here, adjacent to those houses, we have like the same style homes and these are supposed to be duplexes or townhomes for the huge family or household that lives there. Over here, this is a community garden. I won't visit, but it's really nice that you can do that over there. We have a motel in this safe file the twin ridge motel 
<laughs> this definitely gives motel vibes. I wonder if there's another poster here. There's actually a little playground for kids. Gosh, I mean, the details. Look at the little bottles outside. There are some surveillance cameras I'm seeing. Okay, so here's like a little pool. But here are the bedrooms. That's nice. <laughs> this feels like a motel. This is nice. Probably nicer than the motels that I've seen, but this is really nice. Anytime Willow Creek is redone, I always pay attention to the way that creators redo this strip. And I really love it. It's super natural and it fits right in. I'm actually in the gym with my sim. I'm gonna have her get off this treadmill. But it's a nice gym, but it also operates as a post office. Or, I mean, truthfully, it's pretend. So this is the gym and this is the post office. For storytelling purposes, this is pretty cool. And it does look like a post office. And it also gives me the idea that it's it could be a bank as well. On the way out in the back door, we do have a missing poster. We are next door at the library and they also have a missing poster for Cleo. But why not Forrest? Because Forrest is missing also. I need to know why. <laughs> This is the library, which looks like it could be a cafe too. And of course it has a little place for the kids. Instead of the blue velvet, so over here is more <laughs> like the club environment. We have some card tables. Uh, we also have a little perform. This, this gives me blue velvet, you know? This makes me feel like it's the blue velvet. You know, we have the piano, some bands can play over here. And then next door, we have another lounge type area. We could turn on some tunes and start dancing right here. This looks like a dance floor. And we have another TV. The TV at the bar thing is just so unique. It's so brilliant because we've all seen this before. And then upstairs, it's a little different. It's like a little lounge area. I wonder what this is for. But I do see a journal here. I wonder what that's about. Look at this. Isn't this so cute? Welcome to Silent Pines. Thank you. Come again. I just had to see what this looks like at night. And of course, it did not disappoint. So Pop Steiner and Cinema looks great. And look at the billboard right there. It looks really nice. But I wanted to see how the cinema looks like in the inside. So we have this little gaming That's area. Cool. These are makeshift little arcade things. You can't do anything with them. Just looks like you can. But that is so creative. Here's the cinema. This is what I really wanted to see up here which it really does look like a cinema. There's someone watching a movie down here. And here is where if you have movie hangout stuff, you could add the popcorn maker and everything. This just looks real. This is so nice. I love it. I love it so much. And then there's another theater right here. So this is probably the best, I have to say it. This is the best use of base game that I've seen in a really, really long time. I must say, and oh no, loser, who cares? That is so sad. Why is this girl missing and who has a problem with her? This is really cool. I hope you all enjoy this safe file and discover it. I do not want to spoil it for you. There's so much to discover and play with, or if you just want to just play in this safe file just because it looks really nice. But I hope you all enjoy it. If you did, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just keep simming. Always, always, always stay wavy. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out. The cross, the cross.